from a distance we could see the vultures perched on and next to the elephant again. The wind was belting across the plains. Eventually the vultures were broken up into small little groups and I assume that they're digesting the food because they were feeding on the carcass but also with such an incredibly strong wind I suppose it would be also difficult to take off and land. The elephant carcass hasn't changed as much as what I expected. Obviously it's been quite weathered by the sun. You can see that the feet are quite black also and burnt by the sun and obviously just the process of decomposition. The stomach has definitely deflated and you can see the outline of the side of the elephant has sunken in. A lone warthog was also running around in the area and he was trotting up and down past these little groups of uh, vultures. Next to the elephant carcass is a small water hole and in the distance we could see animals also <laughs> just <laughs> getting sandblasted. Um, lots of dust swirling around everywhere and it was knocking us and the camera and the animals and everything in the, in the vicinity. We did hear that two lions had visited the carcass, two big male lions apparently, and I was quite eager to film them there, but when we arrived, nothing in sight. This carcass will weather somewhat uh, in the next couple of days and I'm sure that we will return one more time, perhaps towards the end of our trip, just to see what has happened to it and if scavengers will actually eat more of it. But at this stage, still fairly intact, um, even though the stomach contents are gone. And now the burning question, how did the elephant die? We spoke to a variety of experts who gave us their opinion. Now the elephant wasn't attacked by any predators, uh, it didn't have any injuries, and so we all assumed that it died of natural causes.